In this episode, I'm going to talk about a spectacular type of object created by a star's final act, a planetary nebula. Or, more specifically in this case, the Blue Snowball Nebula. As you can see in this image I captured of the Blue Snowball Nebula, it is brilliantly blue. It is also known by many names, including NGC 7662, Coldwell 22 and the Snowball Nebula. The nebula is located about 2,500 light years from Earth, in the Andromeda constellation. Nebulae such as these represent a stage of the star's evolution when its fuel runs out. A star is a nuclear furnace that emits helium by fusing hydrogen fuel. The Sun and other medium mass stars grow into red giants as they exhaust their fuel, unlike massive stars that explode as supernovae. The process begins when, after billions of years of nuclear fusion, the star starts to shut down. As the star cools, gravity, no longer balanced by the nuclear fusion's outward pressure, compresses its core. Gases from a star's outer layers escape into space, creating a planetary nebula. So cool because these objects often resemble planets when viewed through a small telescope. A small white dwarf lies at its centre, the remains of the original star's compressed core. And this is what has happened for the Snowball Nebula. However, this is also one of the brightest planetary nebulae in the sky with an apparent magnitude of 8.6. It is best seen from the Northern Hemisphere in the months of October and November and December. So what do you need to see it? While the nebula is visible with binoculars, it only appears to be a star. However, when viewed through an 80mm or 3.1 inch telescope at high powers, it appears slightly elliptical and greenish in colour, appearing as no more than an out of focus fuzzy green star. In total, the planetary nebula spans 32 times 28 arc seconds in the, of the sky. Using a 6 inch telescope and a magnification of at least 100 times, the nebula appears as a fuzzy blue disk with an elliptical outline. A 200mm or 8 inch or larger telescope with a magnification of at least 250 times will reveal the dark centre of NGC 7662. The Blue Snowball Nebula is a structurally complex planetary nebula with a double ring structure, meaning that it is bright. central ring of gas is surrounded by a larger, dimmer, hazier envelope. To see this structure, along with other halo and dim central star, which is magnitude 13, large amateur telescopes of at least 16 inches are required. If you have good seeing and a steady mount, this object can also withstand high magnification, with amateur astronomers regularly using 500 to 1000 times magnification in sufficiently large aperture telescopes. So how to find it? To find the Blue Snowball Nebula, you need to first find the Andromeda constellation. I find a good way to find this is to find Cassiopeia, which is a bright constellation in even light polluted skies. Then follow the V of Cassiopeia to Andromeda. Once you're at Andromeda, follow down the leg of Andromeda until you get to the 6th magnitude star, 13 Andromedae. With a sufficiently low powered eyepiece, you should have the nebula within the eyepiece's field of view, half a degree southwest of the star. When you do find it, it will look something like this through the eyepiece. Well, that's it for another episode. If you liked the episode, please give a like. It really does help out the channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more astronomy videos, then please do subscribe. Goodbye and clear skies. Oh.